I never thought I would see the day that even online cheaters will have to grovel and ask for help on how to evade the new anti-cheat system that's been implemented into Warzone. What is this new, lovely, and formidable photo that has been leaving one side crying in frustration and the other praising it as an unsung hero of, long, of a long and tedious struggle in the online community? Well, it is the newly released anti-cheat system called Ricochet. Despite its launch being a buggy mess, it has proven to be all that it's cracked up to be, showing that no matter where you go or how many PCs you buy, once your account is banned, the show is over. It's gotten to a point where even the lowest of cheaters have to resort to r slash COD Warzone to find solutions to why they can't play the game anymore. Furthermore, many even try buying try buying a new system to play it on or even try more undetectable cheats to hack the game. But our new guy Ricochet has been striking them down, each and every last one of them. And I am more happy to say this, if the new anti-cheat can be implemented in more games besides Warzone, maybe this could be a break to save the online gaming community and bring back true honest grinding and hard work. Bringing it back to the online status and not watch as you and many before suffer and struggle because they were cheated of a victory due to people wanting to ruin the game for others to win and hit the top charts undeservingly and unearned. Now we could take battles what was lost in the online gaming and you know, actually be good at the game. I hope this is a new beginning to a decent future where even <clears throat> where we can start on other problems. You know, once we, this is settled, we can work on other things like stop making games predatory and focus on them being good again. And also 100% making the games come out instead of just selling what should have been base game you know, DLC from the get-go. We should stop doing that, guys. Come on, companies. <sighs> I, I, I'm sorry. I had to take that from my script because this is good. Like, I spent the last three hours writing a script on how, how should I suck off Ricochet and how it's been leaving people to struggle. But I have to go off, you know, script now. You know, I have to. I'm gonna literally put a video of I'm gonna, I'm gonna put an image of my script. And I'm telling you, like I wrote this whole thing. Well, it's like 500 and what 53 words or something. But Ricochet has been dominating this. It has been reducing it to puddles. Cheaters who are succumbing to this. It's it's hilarious. It's funny. I never thought this would happen. I mean, we're getting this thing is absolutely bitching out hackers who have made warzone practically unplayable by some standards i wish they could do this for team fortress 2 instead of just being online hackers they could fix the bot problem which i can't stand because playing team fortress 2 at this point is nothing more than just literal torture porn you're, you're only playing it just to suffer online i've been killed by so many snipers there are bots, it's been unreal. Even, I got killed in places that weren't even freaking possible game-wise or even logical-wise. Danganronpa has more continuital nonsense than getting sniped from across the map between like 40 million objects. <laughs> but I, I'm glad that Ricochet has come by. And I hope something like this could be implemented in other games. Let's, like I said, aforementioned Team Fortress 2, maybe Battlefield, maybe any other online game where people have been hacking and cheating in. Maybe Division 2, when you see all those OP ass Dark Zone builds that be like one shotting you for no reason, for God's sakes. Maybe that's just me. Maybe my character's weak. But I have to say thank you to whoever created the Ricochet anti cheat system. Thank you for making that. Now I could play Warzone and not feel cheated out of playing it. Now I, I could enjoy it and not get bitched out halfway through because someone has a limited range or a freaking pistol that has aimbot and insta kill no matter what. Or they have invincible armor. Because let's be honest, that's terrible. Now I can finally enjoy online gaming. <laughs> like I said before, this gets implemented to other games. 
this will fix a lot of things like i'm telling you it'll fix a lot of online gaming bring it back to where it made sense bring it back where playing online games were fun competitive and you're not getting dogged out because someone's using you know fucking wall hacks because they can't play a game and they suck at it anyone who cheats in an online game i'm gonna say it now you're weak you're pathetic and you may, and you might think that's just sparking up controversy or hatred towards other people like that. I could take modding. Modding is fun to do. You're making the game awesomer or randomizer or simply just stupid fun. But you're actively cheating in a game for online status that doesn't really have any real world value, especially since you didn't even deserve it, let alone earn it. You got to be worthy for that. You just can't just you, you just can't just hack Fortnite and be like ultimate number one in the game and be like, yeah, that's me. I put only two hours in the game. You know how I did that? I just cheated. You don't deserve it. If you cheat in an online game, that pretty much proves how shitty you are at the game. It's called getting good. That, that, that saying alone has been a true try and tested method that has worked over the years of on, on gaming both online offline couch co-op get good at the game so you don't have to cheat whether you're just doing it to fuck with people whether you're just doing it just for why not what are you trying to do with the actual accolades you don't know it proves that you suck actual dog balls at the game and i'm not gonna lie that's just facts you can fight me all you want but you cheating in the game especially online for next to no games whatsoever you suck the only leeway i could give it to if it's a all if it's like an old game like a dusty old ass game that no one plays anymore like say black ops and like you want to cheat in there and just fuck around with zombies and be like yeah i did the mini story again like in the, in the first wave in the first round okay no problem but like an active game like Fortnite, Warzone, Apex Legends, you know, so on and so forth. No, don't do that. It makes you look like an asshole. And you don't want to be an asshole online. You don't want to just play a game for nothing. I mean, I could, I could go on about why cheating sucks. But the main reason why is just because you don't deserve it. You never earned it. You never struggle for it. You never bust your ass just to get to that point. You just turn on a couple of cheats and just said auto instant victory. You rob people who put thousands of hours, who probably put their careers and their lives into it. You, you steal that from them. That's disrespectful. You, you can't do that. It, it shows how much of a bitch you are. Cause it's just like, hey, you know, what the fuck? But this is getting long and rambly, so I'm just gonna just leave it off this. Thank you, Ricochet Anaki. You have saved gaming so far. I hope many more like you will come and save other games. You save it from this terrible fate that online gaming is now. Anyways, I'll be up. I'll work on the next video once this one uploads. So, au revoir.